Guys, thanks for joining us. Obviously, Tom, we've just learnt of the very disappointing news that Saturday's game against Oldham has been called off due to COVID. Yeah, um, obviously everyone disappointed following on from, from Saturday's good win. Um, but equally, yeah, you can't put people's health and safety first. So, yeah, unfortunately, the game's off. Um, we tested uh, before the Leighton Orient game on a Saturday, zero positive cases. Um, then, yeah, as per good practice, we did another round of testing yesterday. Uh, and as of as of the time of filming this, I think we're up to 12 positive cases um, with a few still to come in. So, yeah, in, in the interest of, of safety for the players and, and, and everyone really, everyone coming to the stadium, um, we got in contact with the Football League and, and yeah, the decision was, was taken to call the game off. Yeah, and obviously, Gaffer, I'm sure you're is equally disappointing coming off the back of that win. And obviously, we've spoke about previously the problems we've had with the first team injuries and stuff, and this just sort of adds another issue to it already. Well, there's two ways to look at it, and it gives you a bit of time for the injury boys to come back. Um, at least we're going into it on the back of a win and a draw. And it's just one of those things, you know. I think the Football League and the Premier League and all that, they've got to come out and be a little bit more, help the clubs a little bit. Because it ain't the club's responsibilities to close things down. You know, because there is a lot of mixed messages out there. Tom sees it from that side, because obviously that he's here in the office all day. But us, us lot stuck at the training grounds, all you want to do is play football. Well, someone's got to take the lead and make a decision. And I think the way that the um, you know a lot of the players and, and, and managers, especially in the higher levels, are coming out, saying about the January, to me it makes so much sense that if you give a start date to start, at least then it gives everybody clubs and everything because you've now got to sort tests out, you've got to sort training out, and it's a big ask for everybody um, to, you know, nobody knows, it's like, it's like trying to have a, a fight in the dark, you just don't know what's going on. Yeah, and we were already having problems with the score, which means that we pulled out of the Sussex Senior Cup as well. Obviously, there are a few maybe questions online of maybe why we pulled out the Senior Cup. As you said in a press conference before, it's nothing to do with the sort of, it's not how we value the competition, it's just physically that we probably couldn't play the fixture. Well, if we didn't value the competition, we wouldn't be in it. Um, I think we're in the process of um, how hopefully something will be helped out with Eastbourne. Um, and it, it doesn't matter. You know, we haven't got fit enough players. We didn't have, we had too many injury players to play. And I'm sure, you know, you get some people moaning, but they're moaning about anything. If they won a million pound on a lottery, they'd mind why it ain't 1.3 million. Um, we moan because uh, they moan. We haven't got players. We never had players fit at the football club. We had 18 fit players, and them 18 players was due to play three games in practically a week and a bit. Uh, and we just couldn't afford any more getting injured. Um, obviously for the players and obviously for the first team because we'll be, you know, it's bad enough when you've only got them to pick from. Um, maybe with this thing, it's brought everything in a bit of reality, really, because you know people's lives could be on, on the line. I'm not saying our club, but you see what's going on in the world. Who knows where it leads to? I suppose Tom, the only sort of positive, really, of you know these COVID, the, co the news about COVID is that we have been through it before, so we sort of know sort of what we're dealing with in a way. Yeah. Um... As I say, you know, the, the reason that we've, we've found these cases is, is through our practice. You know, um, I'm confident in, in what we have in place down at the training ground here at the stadium. Um, equally, as, as John was saying, it's, you know, you just have to turn on the news at the moment to see that it's, you know, it's so here, there and everywhere at the moment. So I don't think we're, we're an anom anomaly. There's going to be loads of games off at the weekend. And yeah, you've just got to take it for what it is. Um, you know, we, we've already spoken about internally what we what we can do. Um, so we'll be prepared for when we are allowed back training, all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm more than confident in in the club protocols. The thing the thing with it is as well from our point of view, you know, if you're trying to pull a fast one and trying to get games called off because you haven't got fit players, we're the complete opposite. It's only where that we've got things in place, and it's a compliment to everyone who deals with all that side of it that we spotted the cases, otherwise we could have gone on and got yourself in more trouble. And most importantly, the players could have got worse, or the staff could have got worse, or the supporters could have got things. But, you know, there's still a batch of us that will be out training that are fit enough to train, because we don't want to get so far behind like we did last year, with all the stop-start going. But at least this year is a bit more universal, and I think everybody's in the same position. But we will have players training and make sure that we're ready for whenever we're due to come back.